Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube channel. And this series is all about spirituality, metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to do something completely different to anything I've done on this channel before. But I feel like it is so, so necessary to talk about it as women. We have to talk about these things and the things that actually like benefit our bodies, which literally affects our entire life. You know, your body is the most important thing to take care of in this life. So we're going to talk about why you need to stop using tampons and pads and switch to a menstrual cup. And I can't think how long ago I switched. It may have been like, I think it was sometime last year in 2019 when I decided to stop using tampons and pads because I'd heard so many negative things about the fact that they're covered in chemicals and stuff and how that affects our bodies. But I didn't realise the drastic difference until I actually switched and like started to see the effects take place in my own body so I really really like really recommend this and I also recommend getting off the contraceptive pill but that will be a whole other video that I will definitely make at some point as well because I also did that and also think that is very very important for our bodies and it's kind of crazy because when you say like things are covered in chemicals and things are bad for you you would like my instant thought before would always be why would they allow this then why is that acceptable why like surely that wouldn't be the case because it wouldn't be sold but obviously these companies and not just the companies but the governments only care about the money and their power so they want us to have things that make us sick because when you're sick you can't think for yourself you can't make decisions based on what's best for you you'll just do whatever they kind of want you to do and what they manipulate us into thinking is best for us you know so there's many many reasons why these things not just these type of products but like food and stuff why they're allowed and accepted to be sold when they actually cause cancer and they cause all kinds of diseases like they've been linked to so many things that it's just ridiculous that we even use them and that they're even normal to use so First of all, I'm going to just explain like the benefits of what I've noticed in myself and then I'll show you what they are and exactly how you use them and all of that kind of stuff. So for me, obviously, I, like I said, I did come off the contraceptive pill and that made a huge, huge difference first. And then last year I decided to switch to a menstrual cup. And I mean, first of all, the best difference or like one of the main differences is the cost because it's the, I think mine was £25 and I got it on Amazon and I mean it can last like 10, 12 years depending on how you look after it like it can last a long, long time and when you think about how much we spend on tampons and pads and those kind of things like it's ridiculously expensive like a box will only last you a couple of months if that you know like you get through so many and this cup can last you like 10 plus years and you don't need to replace it until after that point so it's just insanely cost effective first of all before you even get into the health benefits so if that doesn't sell you on it then there's also all of the health benefits in the fact that it's made of silicone so it's completely fine for the body like it's not going to disturb it it's not going to disrupt your hormones or anything like that and one of the main things that I've definitely like it's just insane to me is that my um cycle is much shorter like I'm only on for two days and I used to be on for like five or six days so that's a huge huge change and it didn't happen straight away like it took a few months of consistently using it and I noticed that the time just got less and less so one time it would be like four days then it would be three days and now it's on two and it kind of makes sense to me because really when you think about what a period is it's shedding the lining inside your uterus and then the egg is released like that shedding doesn't take six days or five days to happen it can happen in a day you know so it makes sense that actually when you remove all of the chemicals and all of the shit that is not natural to our bodies then our cycle starts to actually become normal and what it's supposed to be and it doesn't take as long for it to happen and you also because it's catching it in a cup you also 
are able to see how much blood there actually is when you have um like pads or tampons you have to change them pretty regularly because they just get filled up and i'm realizing now that actually it's the product that does that and not because you're like pouring out crazy amounts of blood you know like there's not actually that much whatsoever it's just because of the products they look like they're full because then you have to replace them and then obviously that makes them more money so they're gonna do that aren't they like it makes sense so yeah we're actually not bleeding like crazy amounts of our bodies every month it's not that much whatsoever <laughs> i will also say that my cramps are insane but then they always always have been for me and i definitely think it's diet related because they get worse when i eat chocolate and dairy but i can't seem to control myself so i end up just having to take the pain but i don't think that's really the um cup like i don't think it's related to the cup i think it's more related to diet but i will say that my pains are very very excruciating on the first day and then they'll be gone after a few hours and then i'm fine and it only lasts for two days and by the third day there's nothing there and i can co completely remove the cup and clean it so and also um these cups like as i said with tampons and pads you change them every few hours but with the cup you can leave it in for 12 hours like you only have to change it twice a day <sighs> It's like a game changer, you know? There's no stress with that. You can just change it whenever you feel like you need to, but it's nowhere near as often. So that literally saves so much hassle and time, especially when like, you're working in an office or you're working somewhere or you're traveling somewhere, you're not gonna have to worry about needing to change it as often as with tampons and pads. So it really is a game changer in so many ways. And I don't know why this is not talked about so much, but hopefully it will start to be. So, as I said, I got mine on um, Amazon. I do have two because the original one I bought is quite like firm and the way that you have to fold it. I wanted one that um, came with an applicator and a cup, like hold a thing to store it in because my original one um, came with like a bag that you put it in. So I ordered this other one and it comes in this like cup thing which i think is quite cool because you need to clean it and everything so at least it has a storage with the other one that i have that didn't come with this it came with a bag i store it in an old um coconut oil jar that i washed out you know just a normal glass jar and i just store it in there with the lid on <laughs> but this one actually comes with something so that makes it way more convenient and then it also comes with this applicator but i don't like this applicator i could not figure it out even though the diagram shows you like it confused the shit out of me and it wouldn't hold and i felt like i was just breaking it but maybe you'll be able to get it to work but i just could could not figure it out for the life of me and now i've just got hair on it this has not been used by the way because i couldn't figure out how to use it so this is completely clean and unused okay <laughs> But yeah, so it comes with this applicator and you're meant to fold it up and hook it inside here and then you can insert and push this in. But like I said, I couldn't figure it out because it was very, very complicated. But my other one, I've been able to use that no problems. It's just because it's way firmer. It's harder with my nails to be able to hold it. And I'll show you how you, it will make sense when I actually demonstrate this to you. So I just... Oh, take this out of here this has not been used okay it's completely clean has not been used i only bought it the other day and i couldn't figure out how to fold it up so i didn't use it so yeah it looks like this and you can get many different ones um the other one that i have doesn't have this being so long it's like practically to there it kind of stops there whereas this one's very long so i guess it makes it easier to pull it out like you can find it easier <laughs> with that being much longer but um and this one is also very very squidgy whereas my other one is way more firm like it's harder to press and harder to fold which is why i wanted to switch to this one but Mm, not with these nails <laughs> so you basically squeeze it flat like this and then fold it in half that's what I do so it becomes it's kind of hard to show on the camera but it, like you fold it in half and you hold it here now because I have nails it makes it way more complicated to do this if you don't have nails like it will be easy as hell because you need to hold at the front 
because of the fact that it's very very squidgy further back you can't hold it down here because it just pings open at the front and then you ain't gonna get that anywhere so I really recommend squidgier ones like soft ones for people that do not have nails or any kind of like situation that's gonna make it hard to insert so you just fold it and hold it and you can insert it like this obviously I can't really demonstrate that very well with this because I can't bloody hold it but um on my other one that's much firmer I will hold further back here so then my nails are not in the way if that makes sense <laughs> so they will be back further back and they'll be protected and like um what's the word like held behind the rim so to speak like my nail will end here if that makes sense so it won't like hurt myself or anything like that but because this one is so squidgy I can't hold it that far back so I can't use it but that's what I do on my other one that's much firmer so I think you just have to kind of um figure out how difficult or easy it's going to be for you with whether you have nails or not which is kind of funny you know the types of things that women have to think about is actually pretty hilarious but yeah so you just insert this in and it will come with a diagram and stuff to show you exactly how to do it but i just fold it in half hold on to it and then obviously push it inside it's a bit like um using a tampon that doesn't have an applicator and this is why i wanted to get an applicator because obviously i have nails and it can be a little bit of a nightmare but if you can't do it you can't do it <laughs> we figure out a different way instead so yes and then um to clean it you just soak it in boiling hot water and you can put um white vinegar in it that's a natural way to clean it i'm sure there's probably some that come with uh cleaners or like there's a product type cleaner that you can buy but i like to do all natural so um yeah white vinegar will clean it definitely boiling hot water i'm sure there's many other ways that you can just google and have a look and see which way you prefer but um yeah you just soak it in it for like 10 minutes or something until the water is not as hot and then you can let it air dry in the pot maybe just don't leave the lid on it and let it air dry and it will be good to go for the next time that you use it so it's really really easy and straightforward obviously it does take a bit of getting used to with the like trying to hold it and maneuver it and everything that took me a minute to be able to figure that out and the first time I used it I did have to like squat in the shower to be able to do it <laughs> probably a little bit too too much info but that was like me just trying to figure out what works best for me another way I like to do is just prop my leg up on like the side of the bath because it's near the toilet so I can just prop my leg up and be able to do that so it just depends um what works best for you and you need to just try a few different ways and figure it out um so yeah it does take a bit of trial and error but once you get the hang of it like it's easy and then you'll be able to do it every single time and it'll be no problem at all it's just the first couple of times will take a minute to figure out the best way for you to do it because everyone's bodies are different everyone's fingernails are different everyone's like way of doing things is different so you need to just try it but i really really recommend it because it's a game changer not only financially but health wise and it will also reduce the time that you're even on which who doesn't want that like that's probably the best part about it is that i don't even have to do it that many days literally two days of wearing it and then i'm good so i really really recommend you switching over and don't forget to stay tuned for the video about the contraceptive pill if you want to know about that as well because i have been off of that for two three years now yeah three oh damn three years now <laughs> that flew by i don't know what happened there but yeah so i came off of it for three years but i was on it since i was 15 so like that's a long i think i was on it like nine years something like that so it was a long time of being on it and now i've been off of it for three years so i will definitely make that video because it's just crazy what that can do to our bodies and it's also crazy what these tampons and pads do to our bodies i also know that you can get um like i don't know if they're cotton ones or there's some type of uh tampon and pads that have no chemicals like there's ones that are supposed to be better for you but i've not tried them and i've not researched them so i definitely recommend researching if a cup is not for you but i also really recommend just trying it and just seeing because like it's such a game changer and so good for you 
in the long run as well so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching i really really appreciate you all links to my music my social media my phone number and so much more will all be in the description box below so don't forget to check that out and also like and subscribe if you haven't already because i upload three videos every week but yeah i will see you in the next video bye Think you like me, yeah I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh yeah, I think you might, I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh yeah, I think you might, I'm the thing you like, in my range all white